Hey everyone, we're Yonaka and this is our Marquee Memories. We first got signed six years ago and we got taken for dinner by the label and they're like, oh, we've got a, a surprise for you. And we're like, okay, cool, what is it? And they're like, we're gonna take you to 21 Pilots. And we'd actually never heard of them. And we we're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, we go to this show, it's at Alexander Palace in London. And then like two weeks later, they're our favorite band. Their energy, yeah. it's just amazing and it's so playful. And it's on point that everything is like, Mwah. but it's like super playful and it's like, it feels really real. Like it, it's from the heart. And the theatrics and everything was just like insane. Yeah. Like, yeah. Was it Tyler was like running inside of a ball oh, yeah. across the audience. They were interacting with the backdrop and stuff like that. I'd never seen a show like that. Yeah, how they both come off stage sweating puddles. Like you can tell how much they actually put into it, you know. Another show that we absolutely love and bam, we just love is Bring Me The Horizon. We saw these guys at the O2 in London. They do not put on a boring show, let me tell you that. It was just like, oh my God, like it blows your face off. Yeah, they really went for it, the bit yeah. of production. And stuff. Yeah, it's basically a mosh pit for like an hour and a half. It's great. You guys were was fan, massive yeah. fans before, weren't you? There was like one of the first bands I ever watched like underage as a kid back home in a place called The Tap and Tin. And I think their attention to detail, like the sound and everything, the visuals. We actually toured with Bring Me The Horizon in 2018. Forced us to up our game. Yeah. As a live oh, band as well, yeah. like watching that show every night. Yeah. And Massively. Yeah, I think it I think we got a lot better after that tour. Okay, so we saw this band this year twice. So we were playing Rock and Ring and Rock and Park in Germany. When we found out we were on the same bill as Limp Biscuit, we were like, okay, we're going. And we we watched them both days because the first day we watched them we were just like having the best time we were all head banging and sync it was beautiful and then the next day we just decided to go and watch it again it was like unanimous yeah. we were just like okay yeah let's go there now yeah they were the, like one of the first bands i ever got into so it was and I, yeah it was the first time i'd seen them so it's just like yeah, it was just it was just so much fun and he was yeah. coming out in different wigs he's called he's called like dad core is that dad like, core. Yeah, like, it, the new album's like Dad vibes. That's like mm. the, the the single track. So I think he kind of played on that. Like when he when they first started touring it, he come out and he was like he was coming out with the yellow glasses and stuff when they first started. Touring oh it okay. And he was looking like Ned Flanders kind of vibes. Yeah, and he's then, cute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our marquee memories. Catch us on tour to make some of your own.